do a quick video on a Game Boy Pocket that has no power. So, so when I uh, apply power to this and I turn it on, I get zero current draw. And if I flip it over, uh, you'll notice the red LED is not illuminated. Let me move my hand so the thing won't blur. Uh, the red LED is not illuminated. So, um, so how would you work this out, right? So one thing I would do is I would determine using my multimeter in continuity mode because I've never worked on a Game Boy pocket that is I would try and figure out continuity for my switch right here so if I look at this switch I can see this is the off position and I have two leads there um, when I move this to this position it looks like it would short these two pins right here so let's see if that's true and that is true right so I want to figure out which one of these gets power or gets voltage from the battery. So if I start probing around on the positive side of my battery, um, that is, I don't have direct continuity. I have direct continuity here. Um, obviously it's going through a, it says F2, but it says a diode. So I'm assuming it's some kind of special diode, but I, I get continuity through that. There's another fuse here. Uh, I don't have continuity there. I do have continuity there, but I do not have continuity there. So that tells me then that fuse is most likely bad, right? I mean, it's a resistor, but it says a fuse, and if you do continuity across a fuse, it should, it should give you a, re a, a reading. So let's just check right here. So we know if we look at our switch, let's try to trace this the other way. So from here, it goes down to these two, these two vias right here. So if I turn that over and look at those two vias, those two vias are located here. And that runs down and comes to here. So if I flip that back over, well, this is in the way, but you can see, you can see basically the run where that via would be. It's like in here somewhere, I guess and that via would run down here. So somewhere in this area, there's continuity. So let's check that. So if I go from here to, uh, go some, does it go there? Negative. Does it go there? Negative. Does it go to this cap? Negative. Negative. Does it go to here? Aha, it does go to here. So where does this other one go? So this one runs, it was like, it did the same thing. So I'm assuming it was the one on the outer edge. So it, it came through here. There's one came here and one came here. So, all right. So that goes to there. And then where does it go? Bro, why are you beeping at me, man? Where does that go? I don't, I don't know where that goes. Oh, wait, you know what? Let's try this. Let's cut the switch on. And then does it go would voltage then be felt aha okay so so that's what's going on so here's what's happening so voltage comes from our battery or current is going to be drawn from our battery to this fuse through this fuse if I have the switch on that that, that voltage would be then felt here um, no all right, the fuse is, I think, bad. So that, that voltage would be felt to this side of the capacitor, and then it would be felt all the way up to that switch. So that's the voltage path. So, um, so I'm pretty sure that fuse is, is bad. So if I just take a piece of wire and I jump that fuse, let's put some 
some flux down get some solder ready wait for my soldering iron to heat up so let's take and put a little dab of solder right here a little dab right there let's take a piece of wire and then let's jump let's jump across To confirm that this is in fact the fault that's all we're doing we'll try to replace that fuse later if I can find one all right so now let's turn it off and let's check and see if we have voltage where we're supposed to have voltage so let's get our multimeter put it in volts DC turn on our power supply and now let's check to see so I'm going to go on ground. We know we have three volts that I'm feeding from my power supply. We know that it came here. And we have three volts. We know that we have three volts there, which means that we then should have three volts here. And then if I were to cut this on, then that three volts would be felt here, and then it would be felt to here and then it would feed my my DC to DC regulator circuit that outputs five volts and whatever negative voltage a Game Boy Pocket outputs. I'm not I'm not sure. I've never never worked on one so so let's let's cut it on and let's see if our red LED does in fact illuminate and it boots up. Look at that. A red LED illuminates. And we have sound. So there you go. That's a quick video on how to trace voltage and continuity you just have to you just have to look at the board you just have to figure out where the continuity uh where, where where there is continuity and then you can work out the the entire path of of how that initial thing is supposed to work and that's it i hope you find it useful